Hello dear viewers, we are going to study one more poem of William Wordsworth. Uh, this is not just one more poem, it is a series of poems written by William Wordsworth and they are titled Lucy Poems because uh, the one of the characters which appear here is Lucy. And uh, these sets of poems, uh, I mean if you look into lyrical ballads published in uh, 1789 and uh, 1802, there are five Lucy poems uh, found uh, in, in the text. Uh, we will be dealing with the five texts that we have uh, available in this context and uh, we will go one by one. Um, initially we will go through the uh, poem and in the first episode we will uh, study the reading of the text, study the form and its structure and in the second part of my lecture I will be dealing with the thematic apperception of it. So let's begin reading the text and uh, understanding of the form and the structure of the poem. The, there are five as I said I am going to read the first one for you. Uh, the first one is strange fits of passion have I known. Now this particular poem has got seven stanzas and we shall read them one by one. Uh, each stanza ends with a full stop or an exclamatory mark that ends and most of the lines are with the enjambment and uh, we shall go through the text steadily. You may follow with me on the way. Strange fits of passion have I known and I will dare to tell but in the lover's ear alone what once to me befell. When she I loved looked, to, looked every day fresh as a rose in June, I to her cottage bent my way beneath an evening moon. Upon the moon I fixed my eye, all over the wide lea, with quickening pace my horse drew nigh those paths so dear to me. And now we reached the orchard plot. and. As we climbed the hill, the sinking moon to Lucy's cot came near and nearer still. In one of those sweet dreams I slept, kind nature's gentlest boon, and all the while my eyes I kept on the descending moon. My horse moved on, hoof after hoof, he raced and never stopped, went down behind the cottage roof at once, the bright moon dropped. What fond and wavered thoughts will slide into a lover's head? Oh mercy, to myself I cried, if Lucy should be dead. Now let's go to this particular poem of strange fits of passion have I known. Uh, stanza by stanza, analyzing its line, meter and the rhyme scheme. The first stanza of the poem, strange fits of passion have I known and I will dare to tell but in the lover's ear alone what once to me befell has got four lines therefore it is a quatrain, correct. So you have four lines therefore it is a quatrain. So the first quatrain of the poem has got uh, the first line with eight syllables. Strange fits of passion have I known. Second line with the six syllables. And I will dare to tell. And I will dare to tell. Look at the iambic structure here. But in the lover's ear alone has got again eight syllables followed by another six syllable line. Now what is the meter here if it is 8 plus 6 plus 8 plus 6? Is it a amb, ambic meter? Is it a trochaic meter? Well, we will discuss these aspects when you come to the class because we have some intricate things to do in the classroom along with that. So keep the point of metrical analysis of the lines for the classroom discussion. If you look at the second stanza, that pattern proceeds 8686 eight, six. third stanza 8686 eight, six. fourth fifth sixth and seventh now in all these stanzas you can also observe one more very important factor uh, that's regarding the rhyme scheme look at the way the rhymes have been placed in this in these stanzas the first line rhymes with the third one 
second one rhymes with the fourth therefore the alternative rhyme scheme is presented here known alone tell befell day way june moon i nigh lee me plot caught hill still slept kept boon moon hoof roof stooped drooped slide cried head dead so if you look into the rhyme scheme it's an alternative rhyme scheme that's available what happens with the alternative rhyme scheme is that it gives you a kind of rhythmic pattern while you while you present it uh, beware of the enjambments so that you could also understand how to balance between uh, a comprehensible reading of the text and rhythmic reading of the text uh, keep this point as well as a point to be discussed when we meet in the classroom so we have identified strange fits of passion as a lyrical poem written in a quatrain and it has got an alternative rhyme scheme with the alternative meet uh, metrical composition available in each line so could these points be useful for you to understand this particular poem regarding the structure and the and the form of the poem i hope it was useful to you beneficial to you in the next episode of the poem we shall discuss about the thematic aspect of the text based on its uh, its stanza constructions thank you